there's so much ice falling down that he can't even move, and he's just sitting there. For the first time, we're hearing those harrowing 911 calls from climbers on Mount Hood reaching out for help after a man takes a fatal fall. Our Cole Miller has listened to those tapes. He joins us more with uh, what those tapes have to say. Cole, it's just sobering listening to those. Jeff, Jennifer, they certainly are. And those first few calls, they come from climbers who really had no way to get to that man, 35-year-old Miha Shumi. Then another call, that climber able to reach him, telling dispatch that he's breathing but unresponsive. 911, what's the location of your emergency? I saw a climber fall down on Mount Hood. Near the peak of Oregon's most iconic mountain. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little hysterical. Panic this past Tuesday. He was sliding and then he started tumbling, which is a real bad sign. A flurry of 911 calls into Clackamas County dispatch. Multiple reports of that climber falling. I'm on Mount Hood in the crater. My partner just fell uh, maybe 700 feet. You were climbing with him? Uh, yeah, we were descending from the summit. And with the sun out, conditions that day described as treacherous. There's so much ice falling down that he can't even move, and he's just sitting there. And then another climber calls, saying he has eyes on that man who fell, who we've now learned is 35-year-old Misa Shumi. Hey, buddy, can you hear me? Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. That caller telling the operator he's not a very experienced climber. Working his way down to Shumi, he's dodging falling rocks, trying to give out his GPS coordinates. Don't hit him. Oh my God, a rock just went right by. What do I do? Do I go try to help him? And I, get, uh -oh. I might get hit by a rock, okay, but I don't care. He might not be viable, okay? If he's not responding to you, so we need to keep you safe so that we're not dealing with two patients here, okay? Finally, he's able to reach him. Buddy, are you okay? Can you hear me? He's moving. Okay. Hey, buddy, you hang tight, okay? You hang tight. You hang tight. You're doing okay. You're doing okay, buddy. Eventually, more climbers arrive, attempting CPR on Shumi before this helicopter lifts him away, rushing him to the hospital, where he later died of his injuries. And we've learned Shumi was originally from Slovenia, but had been living in Portland for the last few years. In all, six other climbers were rescued from Mount Hood that day. Now, Jeff, Jennifer, I did reach out to one of those callers, those 911 callers, and he tells me right now he just wants privacy during this hard time. Back to you. All right, Cole, yeah. thank you.